good morning, this is Wendy Harrington. It's another gorgeous day here and um, I want to talk to you today about your body, how you see your body. And I want us to, to reflect on like the body as an object uh, versus the body as a miracle. And I've um, got a little story to share with, share with you first. Um, not long after I'd been ill, I remember going to a hairdresser's, having my hair cut, the usual chit chat going on. And um, I, you know, told her what happened to me and stuff. And I said, oh, you know, I've lost the flesh on my torso, so you know, about two thirds of the flesh. So, you know, I basically kind of lost like my fat cells and all the cells there. And she said, um, oh, that's all right, isn't it? And I thought, not really, no. <laughs> But it made me think, isn't it interesting, like this whole fascination we have, you know, with size and being fat and lumps and bumps and, you know, the aesthetic look of the body and it as an object, very much as an object that we're looking at and, and what it looks like and how it should be perfect and then all the photoshopping and blah, 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 blah. And it just really got me thinking, you know, like the body actually, if you stop for a moment to connect with it, is so remarkable. It is absolutely incredible. And that also got me thinking about loving, about loving ourselves. So have you ever noticed how things flourish when they're loved? Let's take a moment to reflect with that. Something that is totally loved and accepted just as it is, absolutely thrives. Now what if we could give that gift to ourselves? Most of us didn't have it as kids. If you did, like, you know, hallelujah. <laughs> but many, many of us didn't because our parents were struggling with the wounds that they had from the past and so on and so on and so on. So it's no one's fault, it's not about blame. It's about us saying, how are we gonna change these things? What can we do? And what we can do is start with ourselves. We can give ourselves the very things that we didn't have that allow us to flourish. So this means, how can you love yourself completely? Completely, completely, completely. How can you give yourself the environment where you can absolutely flourish? Because you are totally loved. And forget looking for anyone else to give that to you. Because if you don't give it to yourself, it will never happen on the outside. So it starts with you. You really are an incredible, mighty, powerful presence. Do you know that? You really, really are so amazing and the impact that you can have on the world is so amazing. Not because you've got to do anything outside of yourself, but because of what you can do inside of yourself. So you could look in a mirror, have a good look at yourself and say to yourself, I love you. And see how that feels. Can you really feel that? Is it really awkward? Can you not do it? And if it's hard, take a step back and start to look at all the intricacies of your body. Start to think about every single thing that is going on in every moment and just how freaking amazing that is. You know, all the things that are unconsciously happening that mean that you're alive, that mean you're taking a breath. You know, your heart beating, your kidneys working to keep your body clear. And decide right now, do you know what, I'm going to do everything I can to give myself the environment in which I can flourish, in which I can become all that I truly am. So lots of love to you, have an amazing day, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now.